The Tobin Center opened in 2014 and quickly became the number one ranked performing arts center in the world. And we've kind of kept that momentum uh, in all the years that we've been opened. And it's very important, there was no performing arts center in San Antonio. It was one of the largest cities in the country without one. And so we are the home to the San Antonio Symphony, the Opera, the Ballet, and three other uh, resident companies. And our job is to give those resident companies, those art forms, a world-class venue to perform. Well, we, like everyone in the country, um, the biggest issue was the shows weren't traveling and people weren't coming to the shows. So back in, I'm gonna say roughly March, uh, we pretty much closed down. Uh, we reopened again. I came back May 14th to open the building up and do some work and see, but um, we were just trying to get this under control. We reopened again in June of that of 2020, so we were only closed a couple of months. However, there weren't a lot of touring shows, so it wasn't we weren't able to bring performances here. We were just opened. So we did a lot of community events, um, movie nights, just outside on our plaza, lots of things just to engage the community. Um, but we have been hit financially very hard by the whole pandemic. The first thing was the safety of our staff and then the safety of our volunteers and then the patrons and the performers. And so we kind of did it in that order. As soon as the pandemic hit and we knew needed to come up with some new and improved uh, cleaning and sanitation protocols, uh, I asked Jack to reach out to uh, the industry and find out uh, what could we get in terms of uh, disinfectants, uh, sanitizing machines to be able to handle a building this size. We came down for a demonstration out in the main lobby and my two assistants uh, were having a great time with it. And um, so we decided then right then that that was the best way to go because we get the whole building, all the restaurant rooms and, and other buildings that we were responsible for. It was perfect. It just was and did what we thought would be the, the ideal battle against the COVID, you know, and um, we make sure we do it even now when we're not open, we still spray to keep the building up and running and then we'll spray before every performance, the whole building will get hit in the morning. Uh, we'll do almost a three hour run to hit all the various areas that the patrons will be at. So um, we're here for protection and we want people to come back and we've got a good record so far. And the symphonies continue to be open back up in February. You know, obviously you can't play the instruments with masks, so we had the protocol for them. And we went over everything that we do, including how we spray, how much we spray, how we do disinfectant uh, on all the, um, the door entrances. Uh, when you come in, you have to be masked. And um, so it's a case that we're really strongly in favor of that, and, uh, and it's worked. You know, we're starting to get more and more confident on our, our patrons coming in. That's our, that's our goal. We've been really uh, encouraged by the feedback that we've gotten from patrons through our shows. Uh, when they come and see a lot of the things that we're doing to keep the building safe and clean uh, with masks and distancing and the spraying uh, of all the surfaces and seats and railings, uh, it's encouraging to us that they go back out into the community and tell their friends that it's a safe place to be. There's no question it's better and easier. It covers everything.